Island Lake Island this weekend. Um, wasn't able to get a reservation for a campsite, but they have reserve, they have a lot of them that you can just show up and get get one. So I think I found one. Um, I'm right behind, I'm right behind uh, the um, the marker boot, the markers on the shoreline to let boats know where they are. But so which makes it a cheaper one, but. I can still get to the beach. I can still walk along the beach. I can still get photos from the beach, which is what I really wanted. So that's what I'm doing. So um, I'm here researching my book uh, on the state parks. And uh, this is actually one of the the parks I hadn't been able to get to for, and it's just it's silly because it's right outside of Seattle. You just hop the Argosy cruise and come out here, spend the night, or you just come out for here for the day. And, uh, so really kind of silly that I hadn't been out here yet. I've been out here a couple times to do the more touristy things. They have this longhouse. I'll swing around here. This longhouse back here. Where to go? <laughs> up here. Up here. Right there. <laughs> um, longhouse. That um, they do a, a show and dinner, and I've done that. And we've walked along the beach and stuff. But uh, I get to camp tonight. Uh, it's turning out to be really nice. There's supposed to be rain in the forecast. We'll see if that happens. But right now, I'm just really enjoying the sunlight and the views because you cross the bay. Let's swing around across the bay. You see Seattle. And uh, it's just beautiful. So I'm um, going to um, get my uh, camping paid for and uh, really excited. Well, camp is set up and I went into my business. I had to change my shirt. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting. Hello, little raccoon. Oh my gosh. Hi. Are you looking for food? Are you looking for food? <laughs> oh, she's a mama. Oh, mama raccoon. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, and I uh, um, had to change my shirt because I was not expecting it to be so hot. So I wore my warmer shirt and man, it's really warm. It's supposed to be chilly and you know normal uh seattle june but um anyways uh talk to the ranger they're gonna bring a a food bin by i brought my bear can but um they're having some troubles with the raccoons and they it's a new program that they've developed uh putting bear uh, bins and uh, food bins and the campsite so um he's even said that the raccoons roll away the uh, bear cans but um not too sure I want to wait around. Maybe I, I think maybe I do want to go grab some lunch and then I'm gonna go meander through the forest. I know there is five miles of beach that you can walk and you can go around the whole island. The whole island is a state park and uh, they have a store at the um, uh, Rangers uh, Ranger House Ranger Station and where you can get ice cream. So that's that's a, like oh yay! Although. Maybe just a cold drink, <laughs> but uh, yeah, just saw a raccoon. Yeah, they are around. Um, they're not vicious, but uh, yeah. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna grab, like I said, grab some lunch, and I'm gonna go explore the woods. So um, in 1904, William Trimble bought the island at the persuasion of his wife. He was a real estate magnate in Seattle and was considered one of Seattle's elite. And he bought the island and um, his wife was able to garden here and they named it Trimble Island even though it was officially Blake Island even in the 1850s when it was first surveyed. But um, 
So the only thing that's left of their house is this foundation that I'm standing in front of. But there's a sign here talking about them and um, and so not much else is left of them. It's kind of interesting though. But we're gonna walk through the, the forest from here and uh, explore, explore the wonderful forest because you know, me and forest. A forest on a midday sunny day. Am I right? Oh man. But there are ways to deal with it. I talked about this when, on the backpack trip on the East Bank Trail a couple of weeks ago and you just kind of have to look for the smaller details. You may not be able to capture a big scene. Of course, who's capturing a really, really big scene in the forest anyways? But reserve those for the you know, when you find them, reserve those for the foggy days or the, um, whew, that's kind of cool. Find them for the foggy days or overcast days. Um, or else play with the light. Um, right now I'm looking at some fern fronds that are backlit. And let's see if you can see them there. Uh, they look nasty there. But I think with the right exposure and the right composition, they'll actually turn out. Um, I've got one tree in the background. I'm going to kind of leave that. I'll probably try and get that in focus too. But everything else in back is going to be nice and dark. And I want that dark and out of focus and just kind of focus on the fern fronds. Or you just find a nice shady spot with some wonderful details and just get in nice and close to those details uh, and play with uh, the, you know, the structure of the plants and the details. And I, I'm kind of looking at, I keep going back to details, uh, <laughs> I'm looking at some deer ferns down here that have some uh, last year's fronds that are all dried and shriveled up and some really bright green ones from this year. And I think that's what I'm going to play with and it's in the shade. so. Let's take a look at that one. Came to a fork in the trail and uh, just on a whim, I felt this urge to, that pulled me left, so I turned left. You've got to see these. Look at these beautiful big leaf maples. We have a random Douglas fir in here, but look at that one back there. Isn't that gorgeous? This one's just it's like a baby over here against those other two. I'm gonna see what I can find, see what I can capture here. So, ended up doing a little loop. It is absolutely a gorgeous forest on this island. And uh, you really need to come see it. So if you are in Seattle and you want a fun excursion, head out to Blake Island. Uh, you can get here by the Argosy Cruises, which is the way I got here. Or you can have, you have your own boat. Um, bring your own boat. Uh, kayakers come out here. Um, there are some charters you can hire to come out here. And, um, and I even saw this morning a guy paddling his paddleboard, his stand-up paddleboard, across from West Seattle. So there's a lot of ways to get out here. It's just 
a wonderful, wonderful forest filled with cedar and alder, big leaf maple, western hemlock, Douglas fir, there's madrona along the beach, absolutely gorgeous, plus tons and tons of ferns, and there's just a lot of little photos that can be made, and some bigger ones too, if the conditions were, were right, which they aren't today, so that's not a big deal. Um, I'm just out here exploring anyways, doing some research for the book. I'm going to stop down and at the ranger, ranger house, ranger station, pick up a cold drink and uh, relax in my campsite for a while and then uh, see what the evening holds. But I think I'm going to end this video here and I will see you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe and uh, bye.